Hello everybody watching at home, you're watching Walking and Talking with Phoenix. That's what I like to see. Today we're going to be talking about bums and buskers, yeah? A lot of time in Perth you see these people of all ages, old and very young, with signs. Usually it's got something along the lines of, hi, my name is, you know, Jessica or something. With one S, because for some reason none of them can spell even their own name. You know what I mean? Like, they're really super illiterate. Extra symp sympathy points there. Um, yeah, and they usually ask you for money to help them with food. Probably ends up going on a goon bag or something. You know the deal. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a name for it. Unfortunately, I forgot it right now. There's a name for these people that just set up their little cardboard signs and trying to make a profit uh, from pulling people's heartstrings and making them feel bad and sympathetic for them. See, what shits me is you get other people that also go out and they try to make money in unconventional ways, namely that of buskers, and, you know, they're actually trying to give something back to the people in exchange for the, for the pay which they're trying to earn. You know what I'm saying? And, like, just like those guys back there, you know, it was a nice piece of music. Maybe they don't make too much music. I mean, here's an example. Example coming up soon enough. Exactly what I'm talking about. I think everybody has an innate skill that you can you can use and draw out in order to you know to get by, to make a bit of money from. You know what I'm saying? And I think if you don't feel or you don't feel confident enough, you feel you're lacking totally in any skills or any performance that you could provide to people to make some money, then I think that's just a really, really poor effort, poor excuse. There's always work to be done, there's always practice, even in, the, in terms of building your confidence. And if you can't be bothered figuring out what you're good at and mastering it, and maybe trying to earn a few, even if it's just making a fool of yourself and dressing like in a chicken suit and dancing to bird, bird, bird is the word, on a radio, you know, people might still give you some extra bucks for that. It's better than being a beggar. You know what I'm saying? Which really is like, why would I give you money when you're just asking for it? Because, oh, poor you, you're struggling. We're all fucking struggling, aren't we? Well, at least these other guys, I'm sure they're probably struggling in their own ways, but they're not relying on that 100% in order to get by. They're actually providing something. And it's a different story if you are disabled, you've got some disability which is preventing you from being able to perform and do anything. That's understandable. A lot of the time that isn't the case. A lot of the time it's just people being lazy. And maybe their, their will is broken, their spirit is broken, and they're sitting and they've been sitting for so long in this belief that they can go nowhere and that it's all lost for them. <clears throat> if that's the case and you're not really living, you're already dead. And you're just, you know, trapped inside your body waiting for that fi finish line. And once again, you know me, I've got a very cold, merciless approach in general. I like to be detached and objective, and if you're already dead inside your body and you're just trying to get some extra bucks and bring other people down with you, then why don't you just flush it down the toilet? That's my typical resolve, right? If you've got nothing to contribute and you've only got everything to take, then fuck off. And yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Deep down, I like to think you do have something you can provide. Deep down, I like to think that you are worth the air that you breathe. But you know, if all you're asking is like, me, give, 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 you know, and you're taking, you're taking, and you're never actually willing to even try and give anything back, then you really are just a waste of fucking space. That's just what I think.